Hello everyone, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Abby Buchanan and I am from a Cape Town based fashion, beauty and lifestyle blog called One Stiletto at a Time. I've now decided to venture into the world of beauty blogging, so I hope everyone likes my first video. Starting off, we're going to be reviewing uh, the Mac Riri Hearts collection. I only have a few goodies, but I absolutely love what I've gotten. Um, maccosmetics.co.za, which is our South African one, recently launched their online site. So you can pick up the Mac Riri Hearts collection online and have it delivered. And apparently up until the 31st of October, so you still have a little while, you can get free delivery on absolutely anything you purchase. So go clicking away. Um, but first off, what did I get? Well, I love the rose gold packaging and I am a sucker for the look of it. Um, the pink and all those sort of things. While I do love Rihanna's songs, I'm not the biggest fan of Rihanna, I will admit. She is in the country at the moment and I won't lie, I am having a little bit of FOMO that I won't be attending her Cape Town concert. But I have her beauty products instead. So, the Duo brush. Um, this is the MAC 187 SE brush, which you can apply foundation, you can do a bunch of things. This is basically a fantastic brush to have if you're doing a beginner's kit because it's super soft, you won't go anything. Obviously, MAC brushes are excellent quality and um, it's so cute. I absolutely love it. I love the little pink and with the rose gold and the little signature. It's just, it's adorable. And there is an eyeshadow brush in the collection as well, which I have considered to place on order. I still am like, uh, I don't know. This is 480 Rand, by the way. And I think, I could be mistaken, but I think the smaller brush, the eyeshadow brush um, applicator, is around 380. So it is a little pricey, and I do have a perfectly good Catrice one that does the job, and it was like 40 Rand. So I think I'll, I'll, I'll stick with just the at the moment. Um, as I said, I did show the box because I actually like the packaging externally as well, which is a bit weird, but hey. Um, the entire collection is gorgeous too, and if there's one thing you need to purchase from this collection, well, if you want to, but I recommend it, it would have to be the Riri MAC um, in Diamonds Frost. It's a cream color base, and you can basically use it as a highlighter. It is so smooth, like, ugh, it's incredible. And the tiniest touch, I mean, that was just like a really a teeny tiny touch, gives off such a nice uh, creamy, shimmery, not too in your face. It's just, it's such a brilliant formulation. And a great shade as well that will work on absolutely any skin tone. And highlighting, you can highlight on the top of your cheekbones or your under eye, well, your eyebrow. Um, it's just, it's so fabulous to have and it's beautiful formulation. If you're a fan of Rihanna or not, it is a keeper. And then, obviously, one of the most famous MAC products would have to be the Ruby Woo lipstick, which I won't lie, I found too dry and the drying effect is just, it makes me feel like I'm trapped. Um, I hate that, that feeling of feeling that anything is on your lips. It's just, it, it creeps me out, to be honest. Um, so yes, I do have a Ruby Woo lipstick somewhere. Probably gave it away. I don't even know anymore. I used it so little. I preferred the Chanel Rouge range. And um, I was a bit, uh, uh, should I, shouldn't I go for the Ruby Woo lipstick, which is very similar to the Ruby Woo, except it is not as, mo uh, as drying. It's a little, I wouldn't say moisturizing, but it's definitely not that trapped feeling. It takes quite some time to apply. It's not a smooth application. Um, I would recommend using a lipstick brush. And um, it is very drying to apply, which is a positive as well, because it doesn't transfer easily. You can eat, you can drink, you can talk. Not gonna have red on your, your teeth, uh, smudged glasses, all of those things. So. Well, that is fantastic. Um, I would definitely go for the Ruby Woo over the Ruby Woo because of that factor. Um, it it feels really good on, and I like the shade. I think everyone needs a classic red, 
it's a little bit more of a blue tone so it will make one's teeth a little lighter which is always a plus too and once again red looks good on everyone we all need a pick me up so an excellent collection overall very impressed um, I do have my eye on the quads as well the eyeshadow quads are gorgeous and if I'm not mistaken they're around 450 for the four um, colors it's like a camel color with dark but I recently picked up the Naked 2 uh, range and do I really need another palette with so many browns on? Mm, not really but probably be sucked into it anyway. <laughs> so have you purchased anything from the Riri Max collection and um, which Riri Hearts product was your favorite or is your favorite or have you been eyeing?